COVID infections in the UK have continued to rise, but at a slower rate, the latest weekly Office for National Statistics, ONS, figures suggest. Around 3.8 million people in the UK had coronavirus in the week ending 13 July, up by 260,000 from the week before. The fast-spreading subvariants of Omicron, called BA4 and BA5 are driving some of the new infections, According to the ONS in total more than 182,000 people have died in the UK within 28 days of a positive COVID test, but the number of people with COVID-19 on their death certificates is over 198,000. A COVID vaccination program has so far reached 9 in 10 people aged 12 and over with a first dose. Cases across UK COVID infections were up 7% on the previous week, with an estimated 1 in every 17 people infected. This is about 5.8% of the population. In England, infections increased overall in the latest week, particularly in secondary school-aged children and adults aged 50-plus. Trends in other nations were uncertain, the on said. Cases are higher in Scotland than anywhere else in the UK. One in 15 people in Scotland had the virus last week, compared to one in 17 in the UK as a whole. The survey is thought to give the best picture of infections across the UK because people are selected to take part at random. Survey participants across the country are tested weekly and there is a lag of several days before the figures are published. Scotland, Wales and England have limited the number of free COVID tests available since early April. Tests can be privately bought but the results are not reported on the government website. Hospital numbers as of 14 July, government figures for the whole of the UK show 17,019 people with coronavirus were in hospital, up from 14,932 a week earlier. These are the latest figures available for all the UK nations. More recent figures for England show 13,545 people in hospital with coronavirus as of the 20th of July, down slightly from the previous week. The proportion of people being treated for very severe infections and needing intensive care remain lower than earlier in the pandemic, as vaccinations continue to protect people from severe disease. Weekly COVID deaths in the week to the 8th of July, there were 506 new COVID death registrations across the UK. According to the ONS these include all deaths where coronavirus was mentioned on the death certificate even if the person had not been tested for the virus. This differs from the number of daily deaths reported within 28 days of a positive test. Death toll could be over 200,000 when looking at the overall death toll from coronavirus. Official figures count deaths in different ways, each giving a different number. First, government figures, the ones reported by nations. Count people who died within 28 days of testing positive for coronavirus. This figure is over 182,000, though both Scotland and Northern Ireland have stopped reporting this measure. According to the latest ONS figures, the UK has now seen more than 198,000 deaths in total when counting death certificates mentioning COVID-19 as a cause. When looking at when deaths occurred rather than just when they were registered, the ONS records over 200,000 deaths by the 1st of July. The third measure counts all deaths over and above the expected number since the pandemic began. That figure was over 157,000 as of the 1st of July. It is sometimes referred to as excess deaths above the long-term average. Vaccine rollout continuing more than 53 million people, about 93% of those aged 12 and over in the UK, have now received a first dose of a vaccine. The number of people who have received a second vaccine dose is over 50 million, or 88% of people aged 12 and over. So far, 40 million booster doses have been administered across the UK. An extra booster jab rollout is underway for people aged 75 and over, residents in care homes and those with weakened immune systems.